Part 2. Verdant Wind. Garland Moon. The Chaos of War. Claude's plan to call in all Myron forces succeeds, and the Alliance army captures Fort Mercius. Before they can celebrate their victory, javelins of light rain down from the sky and destroy the fort. Forced to temporarily evacuate, the Alliance army regroups at Garrig Mach until it is ready to march on Enbar, the Imperial capital. It's almost time to invade the Imperial capital. We still don't know where Rhea is, but if she's alive, she's likely in Enbar. Hopefully we manage to find her without too much trouble. I know, but if we're not careful, she'll just be whisked away again. I'm sure you must be anxious to see her again. Well, if that's what you want, I'll do my best to make it happen. But we're going up against Edelgard here. It won't be so simple. <sighs> Our next stop is the Imperial Capital. We've sure come a long way. What are you talking about? This is Garrick Mach. It's where we started. I didn't mean literally, Raphael. I was speaking symbolically. My earnest desire to protect the Alliance has carried me this far. It will not fail me. I am sure the rest of you all have your own reasons to fight as well. Of course, I understand that the fight will not end until we defeat the Empire. And now the time has arrived at long last to march on the Imperial capital and defeat the Emperor. It really gets you thinking, doesn't it? We all come from different places and have different goals and dreams. But thanks to those two, we were all able to come together and overcome all sorts of challenges. You are referring to Claude and the Professor, I assume. Even within our own odd group, those two are particularly unusual. Oh, so you are aware that you're odd. Well, that's... It was simply a figure of speech. I am speaking about Claude and the Professor right now. They're like the wind in the trees. Huh? Claude and the Professor are? What does that even mean? And who is which? Oh, um... I was just thinking that if we're the birds, then those two are like the trees and the wind. The Professor is a great tree that kindly embraces us and watches over us as we perch on its branches. And Claude is like the wind, pushing us forward as we soar across the open sky. Hmm, the metaphor about the Professor is solid, but I think Claude just blows us around on a whim. Still, we owe him a lot. I think that's beautiful, Marianne. I can really picture it. When this war is over, I'd love to paint a picture of those two. Oh, and of all the people we've fought with as well. You mean like a historical painting? I like that. Maybe our descendants will look at it a long, long time from now. I must say, that piques my interest. I look forward to seeing how you portray my valiant efforts. When you put it that way, we may be witnessing one of the greatest events in Fodland's history. It's a lot of pressure, but the sense of duty I feel is even stronger than the fear. I'm just happy to be here with all you. I won't get scared, no matter what we face. We have our goal. Enbar, the Imperial Capital. Let's get to work.
After making preparations at Garig Mach, the Alliance Army marches to Enbar, the Imperial capital. In response to the Alliance's movements, Emperor Edelgard orders her trusted retainer, Hubert, as well as the Death Knight, to the front lines to meet the Alliance Army head on. The two forces clash in the city streets. There it is, Enbar, the imperial capital and the largest city in all of Fodlan. It's not just big. This city was designed to protect the castle where the Emperor lives. It's as though the city itself is a massive stronghold. They surely noticed us approaching some time ago, and yet... Our scouts confirm the citizens haven't been evacuated. They're being kept in town. I've got to hand it to Her Imperial Majesty. Using her citizens as a shield to protect the castle takes some resolve. I suspect those mages will be lurking within as well. Troops deployed to other areas are also returning. If we don't conquer the city quickly, things will get complicated fast. We can't search until we conquer the city. Let's focus on the fight for now. Lady Rhea, please be safe. We've kept the Empire waiting long enough. Onward! We were told Hubert would be leading the enemy forces, but the Death Knight's also with them. We'll have to take care of both of them, but we won't have time to mop up all the enemy units. 
We'll have to split up and take them on at the same time, or risk being overrun by their reinforcements. It's here! The Crest of Flames banner! There, on the other side of the canal! Uninvited guests, I see. <laughs> Let's ensure they receive a warm welcome. Ready the artillery. Prepare to attack. Rocks, arrows, magic. Rain death upon the enemy until they are silent as the grave. Reinforcements will fly in shortly. Defend the heavy weapons until they arrive. I'd be honored. Let's go. gotten stronger, haven't I? I will prevail. Battle of Victory! Hard work is a friend to count on. My duty. Steady now. Good. Good. Good help. I want to do my part. the only way. I'll keep moving forward. I'll do my best. Shall we? At the ready. Uh. 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 
Sorry, but I must. wasn't personal. What's my strategy? Shall we? My orders? Let's make this quick. I must lead them well. Sorry, but it's you or me. Desperate, aren't we? Still room to improve. Bye. 
the name of justice. I must steal myself. was the only way. to be my best. Okay. Just Hubert left to deal with. We are taking heavy losses. We need more troops. Just 
still here. Making strides. First wave of reinforcements is here. It will not be long until the next. Reinforcements? That was quick. We can't hang around or they'll just keep coming. We'll have to capture the artillery. We can turn them against their reinforcements. Steal myself. Forgive me. Thank <laughs> you. 
smart or I'm finished. I will destroy you! Ah! I'm not dying here. Decent form. I must lead them well. Not my best. My limit. Thank <laughs> you. 
this. No turning back now. Don't get used to this. <laughs> yep, I'm stronger now. Bladebreaker taught me well. Let's see it in action. Reinforcements coming in from another direction. Deploy them as soon as they arrive. Too easy. That moment has arrived. I fought and won. Really going for it. Thank you. Thank you.
in motion. You got yourself killed. More battles means more strength. That's an embarrassment. It's over! This could turn the tides. Good form. Got no time for mercy. Inspiring! <laughs> It's almost a shame to kill you. Not even death will make you consequential. We must place our faith in Her Majesty. Her victory is everything.
Well done, everyone. Now we can break through into Anbar. We need to hurry up and attack the palace to block Edelgard's movements. We've made it this far. Somehow. Edelgard is probably looking down on us from somewhere in that castle. I wonder if she's panicking, or just smiling smugly. From this point on, she'll be giving it her all, too. Expect her to be tougher than the last time we fought. This battle will settle things once and for all. We'll attack as soon as everyone is ready. Huh? Is that you, Dudu? I heard the Alliance's army had entered the city. I've been searching for you ever since. I am waiting for a chance to kill Edelgard. I have not yet been blessed with the opportunity. Well, if you want to fight alongside us, we'd be more than happy to have you. We fight for different objectives. I swore to offer Edelgard's head to his highness. But, should I fail, I will have no choice but to entrust that mission to you. This is the information I have gathered during my time in hiding here. It includes details about the inside of the castle. I appreciate this, but what do you plan to do? Don't tell me you plan to go alone. I've done what I came here to do. Farewell. Hey! Wait! He's gone. He's just as hard to understand as his liege was. The time has finally come, my friend. Once we win this fight, the Empire will fall. What will become of it? Well, that's for us to decide, isn't it? Odd as it sounds, I believe the forces responsible for destroying Fodlin are also responsible for protecting the livelihood of its citizens. Everything, even the land itself, has been harmed by the chaos of war. Restoring it will be no easy feat. To do that, the first thing we need to think about is a new ruling system for all of Fodlin. As usual, we're on the same page. I was thinking the same thing. Even if the Alliance Lords and any remaining influential nobles were to divide up dominion of all of Fodlin, they would simply pursue their own interests. Another war would be inevitable. That's why there needs to be a powerful ruler who stands above them all and unifies Fodlin as one nation. If it means I can lead Fodlin to a better future, I wouldn't mind that at all. My dreams await in a future where Fodlin is no longer ravaged by war. There are things I want to see with you someday. I'll keep thinking about the best way to achieve that goal. Whatever we decide to do, we can't do it until we defeat the Empire. Fodlin can't welcome a new dawn until we win the war. Let's prepare as best we can. <laughs>